Hi boys and girls, Merry Christmas. We're gonna read a special Christmas story today. This is called Snow Bunny's Christmas Wish and it's written and illustrated by Rebecca Harry. Snow Bunny lived all by herself in a deep, wintry forest. Every day she hummed a happy song, but there was one thing she wished for more than anything else. On Christmas Eve, Snow Bunny decided to ask Santa to make her wish come true. She wrote him a letter in her best handwriting. And her letter says, Dear Santa, for Christmas, please may I have a friend. It's the only present I truly want. Thank you, Snow Bunny. What she want for Christmas? Just a friend. She addressed the envelope carefully so it wouldn't get lost in the mail. And she hurried out into the forest air just in time to see Red Robin Postman flying away. She had missed him by a whisker. Oh no, said Snow Bunny. I'll have to deliver this letter to Santa myself. Snow Bunny looked at her map. I'll follow the North Star to Santa's house, she said. I won't get lost, but just in case, I better pack some useful things. So she packed a pair of warm mittens, some frosted cookies, and her map. Good idea. Snow Bunny had been walking through the snow for a little while when she saw a light shimmering through the trees. There's the North Star, she said happily. But as she pushed through the trees, she saw... It was only the moon shining on a frozen pond. Bears skated across the ice, all having fun except for one small cub who sat by himself, blowing on his cold, cold paws. What do you think that little cub needs? Snow Bunny thought for a moment. You can have my mittens to keep your paws warm, she said kindly. And she went on her way. She hadn't gone very far when she spotted a star high above the trees. That must be the North Star, she said hopefully. But as she came down the hill, she saw... It was nice of her to share her gloves, wasn't it? It was the star on top of a huge Christmas tree. Animals scampered around, hanging decorations from the pretty branches, all except one little fox cub who had nothing to add. What does that little fox cub need? Snow Bunny thought for a moment you could use my frosted cookies to decorate the tree, she said kindly to the fox cub. And she went on her way. She hadn't gone far when she saw a wavering light. Is that the North Star? She wondered. But on the other side of the hedge, she saw... The light was from the lanterns of some fawns who had been out visiting friends and had lost their way. 
Snow Bunny thought for a moment. What do they need? You can have my map so you can find the path home, she said kindly. And they went on their way. Snow Bunny put Blue on her cold paws. She felt hungry and a little bit lost. What's Snow Bunny need? All her things, huh? Then she took one last long look up at the sky and what did she see? That must be the North Star, she exclaimed. It's so big and beautiful. And she ran toward it. She saw that it was the North Star shining brightly over Santa's house. Santa read Snow Bunny's letter. Hop on my sleigh. I'll take you home on my way, delivering presents and making wishes come true around the world. But what about my wish, Santa? Snow Bunny asked politely. We'll wait and see, smiled Santa. And with a giddy up, they whooshed through the starry night. Do you think her wish will come true? When Santa's sleigh landed outside her home, deep in the wintry forest, Snow Bunny saw the animals she had met along the way all gathered at her door. They had all come to thank her for her help. That was really nice of her to share, wasn't it? What a happy Christmas the new best friends spent together. Snow Bunny's Christmas wish had come true. And that's the end. What a great story. Why did those animals decide to be her friend? She shared with them and she was so nice, wasn't she? That's what Christmas is about, sharing and loving each other. Have a Merry Christmas, boys and girls.